blessings as they prepare themselves in the few weeks left. In a special way, permit me to welcome our main servant, Father Clement Bakaji.
you are not long a stranger or oppressed him, for you were strangers in the land of Egypt. You shall not afflict any widow or orphan. If you do afflict them and they cry out to me, I will surely hear their cry, and my wrath will burn, and I will kill you with a sword. And your wife shall become widows, and your children fatherless. If you lend money to any of my people, with you who is poor, you shall not be to him as a creditor, and you shall not exact interest from him. If ever you take your neighbor's garment in pledge, and if you ever, if ever you take your neighbor's garment in pledge, you shall restore it to him before the sun goes down. For that is his only covering; it is his mantle. For his body. In what else shall he sleep? And if he cries out to me, I will hear him, for I am, for, for I am compassionate. The word of the Lord.
I take this auspicious occasion to thank you for the invitation to come and preside over this holy sacrifice of mass dedicating our candidates of senior six 2023. Thank you very much, Father. Thank you for always entrusting me. This is my second time when I'm coming here to do the same thing, pressing on candidates. Our dear head teacher, Mrs. Agnes Nsuga, I also thank you for the great work of spearheading this mighty institution, St. Joseph's Senior Secondary School, Nakalama. I thank you for the dedication that you have, for the selfless services that you offer in this school. Whenever I meet Madame Agnes, I look at her as a friend and my mentor. Because I remember very well it was 2008, a year before I was ordained a deacon. She was among the facilitators in the liturgy that we had before we went for our second phase of Pastor Spiritual Year. And she came and facilitated us with a topic, the expectation of Christians from a seminarian. Since that time, what she shared with us, I still echo them. And they have helped me to walk this journey of faith as a priest 12 years now in service. Thank you so much for having that you laid on my formation program that has enabled me to live this far. In the same way, I continue to thank Father Waswa for the trust that he has in me. This is the second time that he's calling me here. And one time he entrusted me to facilitate a retreat to the seminarians who were preparing themselves to your daily decoys. Father, thank you so much for that trust that you have in me. <laughs> Dear people of God, allow me to recognize the presence of our head of the deity of this diocese, calling Sama Christu, and the wife, Mr. Amanda. Thank you so much for blessing us for your presence and your wife. Dear Reverend Sister, dear parents, thank you so much for blessing us with your presence as we dedicate our daughters and sons to God as they prepare themselves to write their Uganda Adivar Certificate of Education examinations. Thank you so much for all that you've labored to see them through. You've made a lot of sacrifices. You don't love to have much on you. But for the sake of your daughters and sons, you have decided to make enormous sacrifices such that you prepare them for their futures. Dear candidates, can we give a round of applause? Thank you so much for your parents, for being responsible parents, and for choosing among all other schools, St. Joseph, and to bring your daughters and sons to acquire their education from St. Joseph's. Thank you so much, and may God bless you, and may He bless the work of your heart. I remember when we were still young, 
nowadays used to jump us up in the air. I don't know whether the things are still done. This day, these days we find parents carrying the yeah? their children around here, around their waist. Sometimes we find them carrying them on the trolls. But I remember parents used to throw us up in the air. And no parents could leave that parent to fall on the ground. They could always give us support. They could always give us support. And the interpretation I got from that gesture was that the parents were like telling us or telling that boy or dad that from here I've ended here. For you continue. It was when they jumped you up, pulls past their heads. Kind of telling you for me. I've heard it here. Let the sky be the limit. Be the limit in your life. So we thank them for that parental love, parental support and guidance that they have existed to see us through. Dear guidance, thank you for the commitment. Thank you for the dedication. Thank you for that confidence that you have shown to reach this far. It is a blessing that as I preside over this month, the very class that we are dedicating, I once blessed some of the girls when they are going to do their primary living examinations. And among them, they are here as servers. They were sent to the girls body primary school in Amakura, where I am now, my close neighbors, I'm a small and babies, but across St. Teresa, when I just arrived here, they came and meet me and said, Father, as if I've never seen you somewhere. I thought, how well. Father, have you ever been to St. Teresa girls body primary school in Amakura, I said yes. And Father, you are the one who said our blessing was when we are going to do our exams. So, here you are again, blessing them. Would you please stand up for the population so that I bless them? Would you please stand up? Oh! Another one is there. Another one is there. Oh! They are there. And they said they don't have a mask for their blessing, ma. When they are going to do their and she told me, Father, this is going to be a double blessing. Double, 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 double. <laughs> so we thank God for that. What a blessing. So please, the time has come for you. All the people who are here, they are looking at you. Thank you for that determination. Starting up that exit, it's not easy. It takes much. It takes a lot of sacrifice and dedication to reach the level at which you are now. There have been challenges. COVID affected you, not so. You've gone. This Thank you. And when I had just arrived, I passed by one of your classes, biology class. I saw some curtain is there. I asked the Zaverian, is, is this a dormitory? They said, no, it is a biology class. So I peeped in. I saw heaps and heaps of books there. I said, oh my goodness, these guys are very strong. Look at all these books. They have read all these books and they have put them in their heads and they are now more than ready to write their examinations. We thank the Lord. We thank the Lord who has traveled with you all along. Huh? There is a song in Uganda which we normally sing. Ongongoseta <laughs> Utambu tenange mukama wange Ngonda gechi sacho nobu yambibu Mubisibu vyange ne mubyangu 
Hubera nange gwe wenyini kwe katonda wange kwe mukama wange te want to me a malaika wante te want to me a malaika so the lord has been with us and that god who created without you will not fail to take you through he has been with you all along in your struggles academics is not all that easy we are not gifted the same way we can't say that we are all the same okay even when you look at your palm are those fingers equal if they are equal just be know that you are you've known it eh they are not equal a sign that you are not gifted differently but at least i believe that you have always been there for others you have always cooperated with others that's why now you are here to say thank you lord and to be dedicated to face the battle ahead of you the lord will lead you through i believe have that confidence have that trust that the lord who has been with me since i began senior one you remember the time when you had just entered here you were still tiny you were still young you were fearing everything but now eh you are the big brother and sisters around and soon leaving us eh? so we are so proud of you we are thankful to god for all the gifts and talents that you have exhibited in this mighty institution St. Joseph's. Thank you so much. <clears throat> Whatever we do, we are accountable. In every situation we are accountable. You remember the story of those people who were entrusted with, by their master with some parents. They kept them and time came when the master came to ask for the fruits. And as stewards, we are supposed to be accountable. The time has now come for you to account for your stay here. To account for the seven years that you have spent here. And that will be accepted in the performance that you are going to show. The time is now. The teachers have done their best. Dear teachers, can we clap the teachers? Our dear good teachers, thank you for the dedication. Thank you for the sacrifices that you have levered to prepare these students up to this moment. It has not been easy. I know what it means to be a teacher. There is a lot of sacrifices that you make. Every time students come to you asking where well, they not understand very well. And you did not deny them that chance. Because you are one of the opportunities that they have been using to be where they are now. So thank you, dear teachers, for that dedication that you have exhibited to prepare this. I also want to thank, in your presence, the, the non-teaching staff. <laughs> the secretaries, they have always been typing your examinations to prepare. The nurses have done their work. We are so grateful for them. What can we say to the matrons and the wardens? They have done their duty. That man, that woman who has always been telling you, please, style up, be where you are supposed to be. We thank them. What can I say to those men and women who work at the powerhouse? Just put yourself in a situation after having classes from morning up to one, 
Then going to the refectory, you find nothing there. What can you do? Huh? Do you march back to class? Huh? Some of us, we can even start demonstrating. But I don't expect it here in St. Joseph's. Eh? At least you will, cook, you will keep calm. But those guys have played a big role. They have toiled for us. So, they deserve a thank you. And before you leave, please, find the time to grant all those men and women that thank you for all that you have done for our stay here. They have done a very good work to prepare us food that has kept us alive because man needs food. We need food to survive. You can't go to class on an empty stomach, can you? Eh? Just imagine the teacher calculating some numbers. Eh? Then you hear the stomach also grumbling, making some kind of funny, funny noise because you have not eaten something. Eh? So you are unable to eat that something that has sustained you because of their labor. So we thank them and may the good Lord continue to bless them. The readings of the day that you've had calls us to reflect um, upon that commandment that God gave to us. To love is a command because love comes from God. From God. From the letter of St. Uh, John. First letter, chapter 3, it says, God is love. And whoever loves dwells in God, and God dwells in him or her. So if God has loved us, we ought to love one another. That's why we had this person, a lawyer, came to test Jesus, as any one of us can be tested. Even in doing your examinations, you are going to be tested. Tested. He came to test Jesus, which is the best commandment. Jesus said, the first commandment is love God with all your heart, with all your mind, and with all your strength. And he said the next is more like that. Love your neighbor as, as you love yourself. As I said at the beginning of this month, love is not just a theory. Love is an action. We must reciprocate love. St. James teaches us that faith without act is dead what? Is dead faith. We ought to put actions in our love. Extending our hearts to those who are in need. That was what the first reading Tell us to extend, not to underlook the strangers, not to underlook the orphans, not to underlook the widows, because they are also people like us. They need our love. And it's from that that Jesus teaches us that whatsoever you do to the least of my brothers, you do unto me. When I was hungry, you gave me to eat. When I was thirsty, you gave me a drink. When I was homeless, you visited me. When I was in prison, you visited me. Now enter into the home of your, my father. That is what love entails. It's not just a matter of saying, I love, I love, I love. That is mere babbling of words. But our love must be exhibited in good actions. That's what the, 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 the correct in today's mass said. He talked about faith, hope, and, char and charity. We are all to be charitable to one another. We are all needy. But there are those who are more needy than us, than others. Those are the ones that Jesus wants us to extend our hands. That's what Jesus commands us to be compassionate to them. I always tell people that the beautiful definition of compassion is my pain in your, in your heart. How do you feel when you see someone agonizing? 
they just pass by? Do you just look on as if nothing is going on? We ought to extend our hands towards someone who is in need, someone who wants our assistance. As we've moved this journey, there is a lot that is expected of us. As I said, the parents have prayed their lol. The teachers have prayed their lol. The chaplain has prayed his lol as a spiritual guider. He has prayed his, his lol. And now, the ball is in your what? The ball is in your hands. Either to score or not to score. How do you feel when somebody has been given a penalty shoot? And instead of scoring, he hits the ball out. How will his fellow players feel? They will feel bad. So now the ball is in your hand. So we ask God to give you that confidence that you need. I believe now you are very confident. Not so? Hey, but don't be overconfident. Sometimes being overconfident is bad. Last week there was a match that was prayed. Chelsea against Arsenal. Those of you who had the chance to watch that match, I'm a fan of football and I'm a staunch support of Manchester United. Even if they are hammering us, I'm a man new fan. Huh? So, to cut the story short, as those people were praying, at first, Cherry took the, the lead, two goals to nil. But because they gained that confidence, time came when they were overconfident. And one of the players passed the ball to the goalkeeper. And the goalkeeper, because he was very, eh, you know, was overconfident, he just passed the what? To whom did he pass the ball? The opponent. And he scored the goal when there is nobody there. An empty goal. That's the problem of being overconfident. Huh? Can think that, yes. And from that, they scored another one. If it was not the mass of the referee to end the match, <laughs> another one was coming. Because huh? they were overconfident. I'm sorry to the Cherish fans, huh? but that was it. That was it. Eh? We can't refute it, can we? Yes, they were overconfident, and at the end of it all, they were almost losing. Be your candidates. We need to be confident. And I ask you to take this reflection from the book of Proverbs, chapter 3. Verses 5 to 6. Has anybody got there? Proverbs chapter 3, verses 5 to 6. Who is there to read for us that verse? Those verses. Uh -huh. Listen carefully, dear students. Proverbs chapter 3, verse 5 to 6. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Never rely on what you think you know. Remember the Lord in everything you do, and he will show you the right way. The word of the Lord. Proverbs chapter 3, verses 5 to 6. It has those wonderful words which I dedicate to you. My dear candidates, trust in the Lord with all your what? Never rely on what you think you know. Never rely on what you think you know. Remember the Lord in everything you do, and he will show you the light what? The light way. Put your trust in the Lord. He's going to show you the light way. 
is going to lead you through this examination period. And here after, very soon you are going to the world. The world where you are going to has opened its eyes widely. So you have to begin. You have to prioritize on what you do. Don't just do anything. Have a reason as to why you are doing it. That's what a serious student, a serious future citizen does. He is or she is mindful of his or her actions. There is a man whom I love very much. He wrote a book. He's by name of Stephen Covey. He wrote a book and titled, he gave it a title, The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People. The Seven Habits of Highly Effective. What? Has anybody ever read that book? Yes. Aha. Uh -huh. Even now, one of the parents. Those seven habits, if we, put, we have to put them in our action, in our day lives. We shall be able to manage this world, which is full of challenges. One of those seven habits, he says, be pro uh, active. Take a responsibility of your life, for your life. You are 100% responsible for your what? For your life. Even your success, you are 100% resp responsible, responsible. Never make excuses. An anonymous writer said that 100% of failures in life comes from people who make excu excuses. So, take a responsibility for your life. So he says, begin with an end in mind. Begin with an end in mind. Define your mission. Define your goals in life. What do I want to be? Begin with an end in what? In mind. What do I want to be? Some of you like to be doctors. Would like to be engineers. Would like to be you know them. Huh? One time I asked students, how many of you would like to be teachers? They never raised their hands. And I said, now if you can't raise your hands, who has taught you since you began studying? They never put up their hands. I don't know why some, some people underlook the profession of teaching. Eh? Yet every person However big he may be in this country, he was taught by a what? By a teacher. He was taught, she was taught by a teacher. So, dear students, begin with an end in mind. Another thing, another habit he said, put first things what? Put first things first. Prioritize and do the most important things first. You are soon completing and you are soon leaving this mighty institution. Don't start thinking about two big things. After senior six, I want to drive a hammer. Someone who doesn't you know, even know how to drive a boda boda, he or she wants to drive a what? An armor. Eh? Put first things first. The most important thing now is to focus on your studies. Mr. Ambrose Chibuka wrote a book and gave it a title and said, After university, what next? After Form 6. What next? The answer is in your hearts, dear students. What next? As you leave this mighty institution, you're going out there. Eh? Be proactive. Be a good citizen out there. 
Don't be lured by anything that comes along your way. Some things that we put ourselves into are risk adventures. Just imagine, you go out and then all of a sudden somebody stops and he is driving uh, these tractors that ferry sugar canes. And somebody stops and says, can I give you a lift? And you say yes. And after, tell you, after saying yes, he tells you, but the brakes are not in good condition. <laughs> Would you go ahead to jump on the tractor? That's a risk adventure. So there are many risk adventures that you're going to meet out there. I say the world is looking at you. They are eyeing at you. They are targeting you. So you have to be mindful of your actions. Some ventures are very risky. They can put your life at risk. Another habit is said, think win-win. Thinking win-win calls us to develop a spirit of teamwork. A spirit of what? A spirit of teamwork. And I believe you've been working as a team. It doesn't make sense for you to score 100 when another one is scoring 30. You are not of hope to that person. You are not exchanging the love of God towards that person. Okay? So think, win, win, win. Build a high trust in yourselves. He goes on to say, seek first to understand and to be understood. To be understood. Listen to people sincerely. Sincerely. You're going to be given different advices. You're going back to your parents. Don't go back home and start blagging around. I'm a vacist. I'm a vacist. Yes, we know that you're going to be vacist. But what is your contribution at home? Don't be that kind of a student who walks up in the morning after making a personal administration. She sits there in the sitting room, and she starts say, commanding the TV, tuning every kind of channel. Just do something at home. Let your presence be felt by the people at home. Yesterday we had the blessing of candidates at St. Teresa, eh? and the chairman, PTA, said something that was very good. He said, you girls, today you are here, tomorrow you are going to go out. But be obedient to your parents. Don't start giving commands to your parents. Some parents start giving, liberating as to why you have even come back. Imagine. Because you are not of service to them. You are mindful of all your problems. Has you do anything? Please inform. Don't just walk away out of the home without informing your parents, your guardians. A blind student informs at any moment, I'm going to do this and this, and at such and such a particular time, I'll be coming what? Don't just escape from home because your colleagues have called you. We are meeting at the beach. We are going for swimming. Some people have ended up losing life in that process. So it is better to inform. And when the parent says no, please listen to their advice. Listen to their what? Their advice. The Roman is say, experience your budget. Meaning, experience is the best tea. They have gone a lot a lot. So if she says, if he says, don't do this, he has all the reasons as to why she's preventing you from doing that. So please be obedient to them. Listen to their hard advice. Then the last habit he said, sharpen the soul. In sharpening the soul, he calls us, or he was telling us, to renew ourselves regularly, to be updated. 
in whichever way possible. Technology has gone too far. But at the same extent, at the same point, it has done more harm than what? So as you use those gadgets, be keen which websites that you open. Some are not good. And there's a lot that you can learn from Mr. Google. But which kind of website do you log in? Some are going to spoil you. Some of you are going to possess phones, smartphones. But how do you use it? God created you in a special way. You're a special creature. Because you have the wisdom to judge, to, judge, to judge between what is good and what is what. And what is bad. So be mindful as you make choices in life. And Jesus goes on to teach us that if your eye is causing you to sin, pluck it out. If your heart is causing you to sin, cut it off. Not to take the gospel literally, but to think deep about that message. That if my eyes are causing me to see things I'm not supposed to see, I have the command of them. If my hand is causing me to do something that is evil, I have a command of it. Because you are a special human being. So be mindful of your actions. As I end, dear brothers and sisters in the Lord, let us pray for ourselves. Live along the form sixes, even you, from form one up to form five. The form four, the next week, are, are beginning to live. Not so? Hey, next week and the other week, they will be leaving this campus also. But the rest of us, this is a promotion of what? A promotion of term. So it should work around the clock. Don't be that last minute student. Much as it may be good, but at least work around the clock. Know that the time is now. Oh, ne? Never. Make use of the time you have. Make use of the opportunities that you have. Your fellow students, one opportunity. Another opportunity, the teachers. Make your consultations that will help you to grasp those concepts that you are not well conversant with them. And you will be able to perform excellently. It is our prayer as you dedicate your fellows, that you also perform excellently at the end of this academic year. And may the good Lord continue to guide us through. We ask the Lord to send his spirit upon our candidates as they prepare themselves. May the Lord send you the spirit of wisdom, the spirit of knowledge, the spirit of understanding, so that you may be able to grasp to remember those concepts that you've been taught and be able to answer them diligently. And our prayer that you come out successful. The Lord be with you. Father is now going to lead us in the rite of blessing. I will request that we all stand up.
Lord God, source of all that is good, we praise and thank you for enabling the senior six students find St. Joseph's Senior Secondary School in Agalama, a good home to stay in. Today we have come to present them to you for abundant blessings in their Uganda Advanced Certificate of Education examinations for the year 2023. Send them your spirit to remain confident and calm during their examinations. May they retain in their memory what they have studied. Give them wisdom, understanding, and courage. May they be strengthened by your word to desist from doing evil. We ask thee through Christ our Lord. As the senior six students recite a prayer to St. Joseph, parents join them, but at the same time stretching your right hand raised upon them. Let us pray. God, our Father, we thank you for enabling the senior six students of the year 2023 to complete their advanced level studies. We now present them to you, pleading that you may praise and keep them in peace. Let your faith shine upon them and be gracious to them. Look upon them with kindness and give them success. We ask thee through Christ our Lord.
May we now stand up for the creed. I believe in one God. At this moment, we are going to present our prayers and petitions before our loving God. We know that He is merciful and He will grant us all our prayers. In your mercy, Lord. Prayer for the congregation in the Pandora. You are the same. You are the Pandora. You are the same. You are the in your mercy, Lord. A prayer for the senior six class in Luganda. Krava is your senior AM Kaga, Tim Kama, Katunda, Abawam Kisambi Krava, Via Mkona Jagwe, Basavo Kit Ragu, Eviso Via Via Kamarizo, Sadra Nevaza Devafe, Mkama, Abawo Vlam, Novuangazi, Basavore, Octula Banga Metuka, Kuviloto Yafe, Nyamasi Lord. A prayer for the school in Lugisu. Kurombela, Isomero Yefe, Kutiwero Evu Nyarabosi, Aweva Tangilisi, Nivaku Ruve Isomero Majesi, Nigaman. Banyali sekuta njili la liso merolino. Likula akulani paka kuidala liya hangaji. In your mercy, Lord. Prayer for the sick in Runyankole. I am Kama Rahanga. Nchishabira barile buona. Okuchila mnonga bana haba kusakole vila evjezo. Yasinya ya mkaga. Ntumukama obateko mkwe nogwe. Ntumukama obateko mkwe nogwe. Ogwe mbabazi. Haba hama gada marunji. In your mercy, Lord. A prayer for the dead in Madi. Ile giki bata kararutini. Aosi dropu rubanga kebe ya inienzi ya idele rira. Vua kwa kwa iniebwe waludi taduri. Inyuma si Lord. Incline your merciful here to our prayers we ask O Lord. And listen in kindness to the supplication of those who call on you. Through Christ our Lord.
my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May these sacrificial offerings, O Lord, become for you a pure oblation and for us a holy outpouring of your mercy through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift out your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. To your light and just our root and our salvation, holy and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in you we live and move and have our being, and we, while in this body, we not only experience the daily effect of your care, but even now possess the praise of life eternal. For having received the first fruits of the Spirit, through whom you raised up Jesus from the dead, we hope for an everlasting share in the Paschal mystery. And so, with the angels, we praise you, as in joyful celebration we acclaim. may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In 
in a similar way when supper was ended, he took the child's and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the child's of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in the memory of me. As we celebrate the memory of his death and resurrection, we offer Lord the bread of life and the choice of salvation, giving thanks out of elders who were there to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, Christopher our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mass on us, so we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coheirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth, as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Grace us grant peace in our days, that by the hope of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, we say to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. And gracious to grant us peace and unity in accordance with your will, who we'll live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Just smile, let us stand to each other and offer them a sign of peace.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. May the body and blood of Christ keep us safe for eternal life.
your saving hope and exalt in the name of our God. Let us pray in thanksgiving. May your sacraments, O Lord, we pray, 
perfect in us what lies within them, that what we now celebrate in science, we may one day possess in the truth. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. I wish to thank you all for being part of this Eucharistic celebration. Thank you, thank you, may God bless you always. Our choir of candidates, thank you so much for animating us so well. Thank you. As the Father comes, there are two charts that have seen around your block, biology block. I've cherished them. It's about discipline and undisciplined what? Students. The repercussion that comes and the benefits of a disciplined student. If you take those at heart, success is yours. And if you read those 20 rules about examinations, Believe me, as your briefing is drawing near, everything is almost summarized in those 20 rules as far as briefing is concerned. So take them at heart as you prepare to enter the examination room. I promise to continue praying for you. I wish you God's blessings. I wish you a good health of mind and body. And my prayer and your prayer Parents, the prayer of the parents that have come to bring blessings to you that you come out successful. I wish you all the best. The Lord be with you. May the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit Come down upon you and remain with you now and forever. Mass is ended. Go in peace of Christ to glorify the Lord. To appreciate Father Clement because when I called him he told me Father let me check my program I will update you and when I called him I think after a week or two his answer was affirmative Father thank you may God continue to be your shepherd I want to commend our parents. We, we shifted our Sunday Mass so that we can have you, we begin Mass with you. Otherwise, on our calendar as a school, our Sunday Mass begins at 6.30 because I have to also assist at the parish. But that at 8, in fact, at 7, I, I was entering school at 7, and the parents were entering. Parents joined us to recite the rosary. May God bless you. And I highly prayed and said, Lord, thank you, as I was administering Holy Communion. When I saw the big turn up of parents coming for Holy Communion, may God bless those parents. As we pray for many others, the old. Because I tell my sons here, 
they wake up at three to do the needful. They will go to university, they will identify. Or after graduation and having a job, they will. The altar. The altar. The altar. I want to ask these senior parents to stand up. Mr. Bosnam and wife, may you stand up? You look at your fellow parents. Those are parents married in a church. <laughs> married in a church. And their children are equally following suit. <laughs> a number have. May God bless you, daughters. May God bless our parents. Tomorrow, senior one, we have our mass at the usual time. I met Nakato CC senior three south, and this morning she told me she communicated. So, senior one, organize like you normally do. You know a stream that will be in charge of choir and organizing our Jubilee Hall for mass. Thirty first is a Tuesday. We have senior two same time, and then at five p.m. when they ring the bell to end the lessons, we shall come here as the students of the school to conclude officially, and then as staff, head teacher will guide us at the time when we shall be at her home as staff to equally conclude. Because staff have also been going home to home of the different staff members. Wednesday, 1st of November, All Saints Day. We shall converge here because senior fours are still writing their papers. We shall converge here at 6 a.m. for mass to create some preparation time equally for senior four. They will participate and then we shall go for breakfast. Liturgy Minister, I request to see you. We normally come to you, dear students, in the month of November. October, Rosary. Month of, the, of November, to pray for our dear departed. So the CCs will be coming to you so that you write names of relatives, close friends, whom the Lord called himself, and then the minister will bring those names. We have a book in the chaplaincy to be praying for our dear departed. Finally, may I request Nalule and Kalembe, Senior 3 North, to please come up here. Nalu and Kalembe, can't walk up here. Come here so that your fellow students, up there, 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 your fellow students and our parents see you. These two students are in senior three. Dear parents, how Mr. Kutosi, bailing me out. One of our students, who is their classmate, 
has not been with us since in class since the year began because she has challenges of health. Her kidneys are failing. They approached me, chaplain, can we do something? They we teach Swahili here. Can we do harambe? To assist our friend. So I told them to write the details and then approached the head teacher to get her consent, which she gave us. So I delegated them after, of course, communicating to the whole school that the students do an act of charity for a fellow student in pain and needs money, the family needs money to keep getting treatment. They have brought this money to my office in peace meals as it comes from dear you students. May God bless you. So far we have raised one million a hundred thousand. Then they came to me, chaplain on blessing mask, can we do car washing of the parents? I said we did not prepare them, but I will stand on the pulpit and plead to their generosity. We are pleading to your generosity to assist our child. She came here last term, towards the end of term, and she's still going to treat through treatment, as the parents raise money to take her to India. So I request these two girls, help me to give them baskets and two altar servers to go where the parents are over there, so that together we console and give hope to a child who is a member of this family, who is undergoing pain, and the parents are going through fundraising. Sandra, to the parents out there in the tent, as the choir leads us in a hymn. I thank you.
stand up for the exit him after which Mr. Kuto City Chaplain will guide us on the next activity. May we all stand up please? Choir lead us in the exit him. Shalom brothers and sisters, shalom, shalom once again, shalom. all protocol observed, let's join hands to thank God for this great day. We thank God again. We equally join hands to thank God for our main celebrant, our Reverend Father Clement Bakachi, the school chaplain, Mount St. Mary's College, Namagunga, who has enriched us in faith and blessed our candidates. Father, thank you very much. And thank you for accepting our invitation. We thank Father Chaplain, our spiritual director, our Godfather. Eh, eh, what can I say? Father, we thank you for loving us and for always identifying for us very wonderful people to come and share with us the word of God and enrich our faith. Father, thank you very much. We thank school administration for enabling us to have a good environment and ensuring that all activities, especially this blessing mass, goes on successfully. In a special way, thank for administration. In a special way, we appreciate our dear lovely parents. Our parents, you are very unique. 
I believe and I know you woke up as early as three to make it right on time. True or false? Can we join hands to appreciate our lovely parents for joining with us? Senior Six should even clap louder. Aha! Uh -huh. We don't take your love of course, together with the guardians and relatives who have come, we don't take your love for granted. You are special. And you all for being a very good team that has enabled them to read, enjoy life in this school at this moment as they are bidding us farewell. Clap for yourselves. Let us so clap for these people so the staff can bear witness and all of you, they have been a very good team. Disciplined, organized, you know. Clap for the class. And finally, we appreciate all the people who have helped these people journey this far the staff members of the school, the teachers, support staff and others. Thank you very much. Uh, before I give you the program, uh, permit me to recognize the presence of the following uh, distinguished parents and guests that we have with us on this day. We have our Vice Chairperson, PTA, Engineer Benedict Njuchi, who is equal to our longtime parent and the wife. Mr. and Mrs., you are welcome. The Class Committee Chair, may I request the Class Committee members to equally stand up for recognition. They are with us here and they are going to give us a surprise. Clap for our class committee members. They will be given opportunity to say something. With us, we equally have uh, her worship, uh, Naomi Sikoya, the class chairperson of Senior Four. She has also come to be with us. And she's the aspiring uh, president of NOSA. Old Students Association. On 18th, we are going to conduct elections, and she's also one of the aspiring candidates. Um, with us, we also have uh, Professor Anthony Mgaga, <clears throat> Principal School of Education, uh, Colleges of Education. I hope I'm correct. You know, I left when we, we used to call it School of Education. Now things have. Forgive me, my professor. Uh, we thank you, and is our parent also. Uh, the, where is Maria? Eh? Uh -huh. Maria is there. We have with us the head of the late in Lugazi Diocese, a.k.a. we call Saba Christu. Omukuru Charles Kabanda no Mchara, Tuvani Rizanyo, Mama Netata, Douglas Murubu, Oriwa. Ah. And he said, after me, he's going to give us, he's our official MC. So, clap for Douglas. We have Professor Ponciano Chama. Professor Chama, ah, he sat there. Yeah. You are most welcome. Uh, we have Dr. Florence Nakachwa, uh, the wife of the Chief Judge of Uganda. Nakachwa Dolo, we welcome you, Mama. Where is our kiddie? Are you there? 
Aha. Uh -huh. We have Colonel Henry Obo. Colonel, welcome you. Thank you for joining us. He's there. Ah, the list is long. In the interest of time, dear distinguished parents, in your different capacities, you are most welcome together with the guardians who have come to join us. We are having two sessions. We have finished mass, but before the main celebrant and father chaplain go to invest, we are going to have some group photographs just when they are sealing their vestments. Uh, if you want to just stretch up, parents, uh, or areas, the uh, abolition facilities are down there. Students, I'll request only the senior three class. The senior three class, you'll move to the other tent up. Okay? And the parents who are in the tent up there will come and sit where the senior three class is. I hope I'm clear. Thank you for being a good team. So, after the photographs, the main celebrant will go to invest and they will come back. We are going to reorganize this place. And after that, we begin with the second session, which will begin with the class report. After the class report, these people will give us their presentation. Then, the class chairperson and your team, you come and present what you have to offer, uh, what you have for the candidates. Um, may I request these people to come? I'll request uh, the chairperson, headmistress, our server, Christo, and the class chairpersons. We begin with the altar servers first. Camera, Mr. Guang, and your team. Uh, correction, please. The class committee chairpersons, the PTA, please. Lady Justice Nakacha Florence is a judge of the High Court. My Lord, I'm sorry. You know these protocol things. I thank you for the correction. Altar servers, be strategic, stand somewhere close, in front there. Senior six, you are going to come according to your streams. Okay? Then after the whole day, I mean the sessions, we don't take more photos. Eh? Are we okay, Mr. Guang and the team? Thank you. Uh huh. Physical first. Physical. Balance. Some of you up. May I request the special altar girls and the volunteers? To clear this place. 
the special altar girls and volunteers, please balance, you can move to the other side. Physical first. I am not seeing the class teachers. Are you around? Class teachers, please come. Of physical, you come close. Biological, you come close. And then arts. And we have arts. Please balance. Some of you move. Thank you, biological. So keyboard, yeah, as the main celebrant moves out. So fathers are going to invest and they will come back. Volunteers, please. Volunteers, volunteers, do the needful. Keyboard. Can we stand?
of a colleague to come and occupy that seat. Yes, keyboard give us an interlude or or DJ as we wait. Understand? At first I did not like it, but I don't know. I composed the name. I own it. It's now mine. Uh, as we are having breakfast today, someone asked me why. A round of applause for our dear HM, the mother of the school. <laughs> ah, those hands were for me. I'm saying the HM, the headmistress. <laughs> Thank you very much. So, we are going to begin right about now with the class reports. Coming soon, a team led by Ruban Kene and Coutinho as they bring the class reports of the class of the Titans, the elders of the school. DJ.
Yeah. Wow. The Titans have a talent. Hey. But now parents who have scholarships. Ah, you have seen it. Ah. See, me have showed you. Don't say. Ah, tell Titan. Titan. Okay. We are going to begin with the general class report. We are going to begin with the general class report. Yes, then we have the physics report. The physics report. But DJ, when they are coming, you know what to do. Mm. DJ, I'm not going to pay you. Okay. Uh, good morning to you all. We are presenting to you the general class reports. The general class reports. The words of a titan. The journey of a mile starts with one step. Ours was first taken in 2022 when over 258 students stepped a foot on this land as advanced level students. But only 187 skillfully made it to senior six. Despite having heard that this was the advanced level, many were oblivious of what takes place at this level. Dear audience, we thought three principles were less than ten. But how we were deceived. Balancing papers became an excuse every visitation day. D1, D1, F9, go. Mwana go to Soma. Mami in Soma. Joining discussions was a slogan. Yes. And time management, the chorus. One thing was certain, we, didn't, we did not carry the weight of the world on our shoulders. And thus, we're already seen enjoying one of the greatest pleasures in this school has offered to us, which is food. As the Titans, we have already beaten the entire school at getting food early because Gava Mokulia. It must be put across that you also house the most skilled orators who not only use their mouths to eat, but also move audiences with their gift of the gab that has seen them win the high school fire, the high school crossfire competitions. And on the 25th August, we equally register the most envied achievement by winning the Candace Soccer match. The Titan class has equally bathed the most benevolent, the Mary Batila cabinet. 
Of course, a Titan has a multiplicity of achievements, but we would not love to bore you with that today. We prefer to tell you of the achievement that is next in line, which, for us, which is attaining the knockout USCE results. Honestly speaking, at this juncture, we are in a race against time. We've run out of time. We've run out of answers, we've run out of time. It's gonna take a miracle to help me this time. Help, I need an angel calling an angel down. But while our time is fast spent, we thank our parents, teachers, and non-teaching staff, especially the cleaning staff, Yours was a labor of love to get us to the finish line. Our hope it stays in the Lord of Lords because in him our victory lies. Written, compiled, and read to you by Kakai Patience Linda, Jessica Praise Nasolo, Diamhachi Prosi, Namakula Pao, and your favorite actors of the day. Thank you. The head teacher, Mrs. Agnes Subuka, the administrators present, teaching and non teaching staff, the students' body, highly distinguished ladies and gentlemen, a good morning to you all. If Einstein is not in heaven, then this one is not a fair world. The physics report. The 16th of January, 2023, saw 83 gallant physicists into the great Nagalama physics class. And on Monday, the 18th, the project commenced, referred to by Mr. Wepondi, the project architect. A week later, the project architect served us with the first geometrical optics test that comprised only one number that surely discharged most of us and placed us in our orbits as as obeying both postulates, where some of us ended in head. Nevertheless, 78 persisted. In addition to your O-level curriculum, Mr. Sebunya Eric stated, this statement frustrated most of the physicists, for they had last opened their O-level physics books about a year ago. Nevertheless, we kick-started the motion and moved on slowly by slowly. From linear motion, to projectile motion, to ballistic motion, to circular motion, gravitation, to simple harmonic motion, and now, not even Sir Isaac Newton's very first motion that a body continues in its state of rest or uniform motion in a straight line, unless acted upon by an external force, can limit us. Because surely, the motion we have set to success cannot even be stopped by Mr. Odong. Come the 17th of November, when Mr. Odong presents the physics papers, physics 1, 2, and 3, surely we shall define, describe, explain, calculate, deduce, assume, elucidate, conclude, and post distinctions. <laughs> Words are not really enough to express our sincere gratitude to our dear teachers. The project manager. It is not yet done until it is done. We promise to humble our feelings and accomplish the goals of the said project. Come 17th November, we shall surely write physics and top the charts of Uganda. Mr. Sevunya, the physics messiah. Don't you worry, don't what? <laughs> Just touch your heart, smile, and convince yourself because. We shall come down and settle in parking orbits and write only correct physics. Dear brothers and sisters, HSC is about cooperation, Mr. Ampaga. Thank you very much for your counsel and guidance. 
we promise to provide a potential gradient high enough to break down the insulating properties of Mr. Odong's physics paper and conduct as many A's as possible. Mr. Andio Mugabe, you have raised our specific heat capacities to infinity that not even Mr. Odong's papers will raise our temperatures by a single Kelvin. We promise to deviate from black body behavior that day. We shall radiate all the content without fear or favor. To you, Mr. Nalyongo, you have always reminded us of how A-level physics is much, much easier than O-level physics, by the way. And the results will prove this hypothesis. To our practical teacher, Mr. Sechito, we promise to tabulate and plot only correct results. <laughs> because you have always reminded us that God is watching all those who have wrong values and results. <laughs> Mr. Chaka, we promise that we shall write the physics that takes us nowhere and nowhere else but the engineering school. Come next year, we shall print the results and not hesitate to throw them anywhere for they will be super caravanistic expeditious. Lastly, <laughs> our dear parents, there is a reason why we are called the physical students. And very soon, you're going to see why. Compiled by Or John Bruno, Nwagawa Isaac, Nasunyama John Kerry, General Moses C. Lawrence, and read to you by Nakiria Joe Megana Nila, Nachi Mulizana Asumta, and Sean Rogers Mutiaba. Thank you for listening. Greetings, brethren. The Divinity Class Report, Water into Wine. From the Divinity students, believers in Christ by God's will and from our Bibles, we present to you a journey of things divine. To the people of God of Nagalama and to all other people in sciences combination, May God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ give you grace and peace. Like the Israelites were saved for slavery, in our case, mathematics, chemistry, and the like, we were ushered onto a journey of the promised land of milk and honey. The storms of Zoom did not throw us under, but it is through these tempests that we began to decipher the three paper subjects the law, the new covenant, and our ancestry, and bestowed the name Bible scholars. Some of the reactions from the spiritually blind people on hearing that 26 of us had accepted this divine calling were, eh, you people are going to study the whole Bible. Believe me, it was scary. Um, it was as terrifying as it sounded. In spite of this, God sent us good shepherds in the name of Mr. Simba Dennis Kaketo, who never seized the opportunity to remind us, alone you came, alone you will go. <laughs> Mr. Tumuizere William, the classically trained and enthusiastic teacher, and Mr. Ngovi Bernard, the oracle of the gods. Even though we caused you a heartache, a heart attack in UNASE, we have repented our sins, we have intensified our Bible reading, discussions, and we promise to give SH on every number. We are also eating school meals these days, Mr. Simba. And yes, thank you for repeating. Repeating yourself a number of times for us to understand. Thank you for the chairs, the guides, the facilitations, and a great divinity workshop held on 7th October, where men flocked into this sanctuary to drink of the life-giving water and ended with a holy dance. 
Today we stand as a group of 23 well-endowed Bible scholars capable of standing 23 successful churches in Mukono municipality alone. Thank you, Aaron, Moses, and Joshua for converting us from singing Beba to I am. I am the bread of life. <laughs> Teacher, remember when you said, Teacher, we indeed fell in love with the knowledge you gave us and hoped to win over our examiners with this love. I can gladly report that we are ready to enact the act of harem on the Canaanites, Philistines, Jebusites, Hittites, and this time kill their leader, King Daniel Odong, crowning it with the return of the covenant box of A's back home. <laughs> to him be the glory, now and forever. Amen. Compiled by Kakai Patience Linda, Patience Kembawazi, Ashawani Tariabaha, Anesto Mary, Nalunkuma Fever, Zarango Tracy. And read to you by Precious Kimbawazi. And Ashawa Anita Ariabaha. Thank you. <laughs> Protocol observed. A good morning to you all. Delving into the study of life is not everyone's calling. The biology class report. In the harsh corridors of knowledge, where the delicate DNA strands of DNA intertwine and the symphony of life unfolds, our journey through the fascinating world of biology commenced. Having been selected for by the Nagalama ecosystem and isolated into biological dim, the 15th of January marked our transition from the virtual world of science to the actual academic warfare to the medical world. A group of 125 primitive and less advanced species, yet determined and ambitious, raise the courage to unveil the secrets of the central dogma of life, the mother of nature, biology. Within the walls of our classroom, where scientific curiosity met passionate teaching, we delved into the profound complexities of biological processes with the unending guidance of our revered teachers, who were not only educators, but also painters, painting our minds with vibrant colors of understanding concepts such as the intricate machinery of a cell, the chlorophyll-infused elegance of photosynthesis, the theories of evolutionary adaptations, and the ecological knowledge that sustains our planet's biodiversity. In this captivating journey, we became travelers through the kingdoms of life. Navigating the taxonomy from simple prokaryotes to the astonishing complexity of multicellular organisms. We were determined to study the science till the end, but our population exceeded carrying capacity, opening up stiff competition for survival and existence, which caused our population to rapidly drop to only a group of 87 survivors. At the start of the academic year 2023, we embarked on our struggle yet again, this time, this time round, with our greater zeal of leaving no stone unturned. Little did we know that along the way, it would feel like a nightmare. With us getting marks below our ages, despite the sleepless nights and our predecessors having on only 18 A's in the entire country, the Pearl of Africa, Uganda. However, our pain, our fears, and our worries pushed us to work harder. It became our motivation, resulting in two release of a stimulus that pushed us to work harder as a team through multiple discussions 
and consulting teachers, which we believe will surely pay off. To you, Mr. Damrila, Edward Eddy, our class teacher, the head of department, we promise, we promise to compose ourselves and write right answers, right, <laughs> right. Mr. Aboki, Anji Anji, Mr. Aboki, we shall be very logical when answering questions. Mr. Nyombi, Mr. Nyombi, this village of Honorables will represent the constituents well. Mr. Kakembo, Mr. Kakembo, we shall not shiver, but instead be confident. Ah, Mr. Mm, Mr. Sengawa, mm, Mr. Sengawa, sir. This time I assure you that Winnie Nwaju will not be singing Chivuramu. <laughs> ah. The professor of psychology, Makere University, Kampala, Uganda. Mr. Magala Dan, Dr. Dan, we promise, Mr. Magala, we promise to have enough rest before the papers and some assault to bring the A's back home. Not forgetting Mr. Takajimu, the architect of our biology practical enlightenment, and also Mr. Rueza Alex, Mr. Bisaso Elijah, Mr. Busiko Joseph, who have played major roles in transforming our curiosity into knowledge. As we draw near the USC examinations, we carry within us the legacy of Charles Darwin, the passion of Gregor Mendel, and the discoveries from, from our textbooks, such as functional approach, biological science, understanding biology by the girls, Susan Toll and Toll, advanced <laughs> biology by Craig, principles and applications, among others. We pledge not to pass the examinations, but to excel in them by honoring the teachings of our mentors, by putting down the marking points. Tick. Don't forget. <laughs> they, are, they have cultivated within us. Romans chapter 8, verse 18. Romans chapter 8, verse 18. Romans chapter 8. Verse 18. Romans chapter 8, verse 18 says, Romans chapter 8, verse 18, I consider that what we suffer at this present time cannot be compared at all with the glory that is going to be revealed to us. Therefore, therefore, with God being our light, and with the boundless determination, we embark on the final leg of this scientific adventure, ready to unravel the mysteries, exceed our limits, and emerge victorious in the upcoming USC examinations. Thank you. This has been compiled and written by Hamba Patricia Mary, Asimwe Helena Grace, Seruma Joseph. It has been read to you by Seruma Joseph. And none to Melinette. Thank you. Good morning to you all. The thing is legal because I wish it. The history report. Martin Luther King Jr. once said, Martin Luther King Jr. once said, we are makers of history. Sorry, we are not makers of history. We are made by history. To what extent is this true? Let's discuss. 
to a lesser or greater extent, it is subjective, and these are the facts. Let's begin at the very start. Once upon a time, 34 nationalistic revolutionaries that dared and braved the storm of COVID-19 pandemic anchored at the shores of this mighty institution on 18th of January 2022, burning with the revolutionary spirit, driven with the ideas of liberty, equality, and fraternity as they embarked on the study of this liberal and illuminating subject. Upon arrival, we saw how a slumbering giant of a king, the price of bread, and the queen, Marie Antoinette, obsessed with the love for cake, sparked off a revolution that shook the foundation of Europe. And she said, well, if you cannot buy bread, then go and buy cake proving that the French complain about everything, always. However, owing to this revolution and other factors, of course, we were brought into contact with several great men that shaped the history of Europe and the world as we know it. Napoleon I, the greatest Frenchman that ever lived. Well, too bad, he was actually Italian. <laughs> Prince Metternich, the coachman of Europe, Camillo Cava, the architect of Italy, Otto von Bismarck, an honest broker, the blood and iron that held the peace of Europe in its hands, Adolf Hitler, Fuha, the purifier of the German race, Kwame Nkrumah, Osa Jefo, father of Pan-Africanism, Nelson Mandela Madiba, Vikelele ya Africa. Yet none of these men could rival, let alone live up to our very own Ugandan born and bred. His Excellency, the President of Uganda for life, Field Marshal, Al Haji, leader of all beasts of land and fishes in the sea, voice of money, General of Generals, Dr. Idi Amin Dada, the conqueror of the British Empire, Africa in general, Uganda in particular, the man that waged an economic war on the Indians in 1972 who milked and plundered our precious economy that they did not feed, inspired by a dream he had during his tour of Tororo, proving that indeed wisdom does come from the west, the east, the land of the rising sun. But alas, our understanding of these great men would have remained at the surface had it not been for the big four, the quadruple alliance. These four historic personalities deepened our understanding of the facts and their relevance to events, past, present, and future. Buana Chaze Godfrey, big up to the Higi Haga, the ha Halabalu, the Krinkum Krankum, and the top-notch tests. We promise to remember all the acronyms. Daddy Joslin is a VIP, Masape Forward, Masape Beat, Call Keeper Card, Skip Bad Femme, among others. We promise to forget nothing and remember everything like the restored bourbons. We promise to avoid gender bakudye questions <laughs> and strike off the nalongos. <laughs> Otulabye, Otulaba, Tetikulimba, Mr. Kutosi Shikanga. Thursday, was mo Thursday morning was always a vibe as you always flew us to Europe and around the world in just two hours and 40 minutes. With you, Mr. Kutosi Shikanga, we survived Robespierre's guillotine and learned that the Crimean War was the most useless and insane war ever fought by man. We promise that this won't be a useless war against Odong and his army of examiners. Madame Naseje Mary. Madame Naseje, we will now forget your early morning 45 minute tests that had us trekking in the biting cold all the way from our beds and how your discussions turned us into politicians in our own parliament of a classroom. We promise to keep time in your name. Last but definitely not least, Mr. Amonivinasio. 
you always promise to send us home for dozing in class. <laughs> and you, you will go home. Oh, I will send you home. <laughs> yes, we will go home, but we will go home with A's under our belts. And an emergency assembly will be called to honor our historic victory. Our excellence will not be an accident come 13th November, for there is no such thing as an accident. It is just fate misnamed. Therefore, it is beyond reasonable doubt and worthy to note that history is not a burden on the memory, but rather an illumination of the soul. Does this mean that we are made by history or makers of history? Well, that's a story for another day. Well, okay. Thank you very much. This was compiled by Aol Jemima, Angeo Rachel, and Natu Gonza Hilda, and read to you by Aol Jemima, Kakai Patience Linda, and Titan Angeo Rachel. Thank you. <laughs> Protocol observed, good morning to you all. As it is known, agriculture is the background of the backbone of Uganda and Nkumbi Telimba. I present to you the agriculture class reports. In the first season of planting, nine seeds were selected with the desired characteristics to undergo pedigree method of hybridization. Various tests and samples were carried out. The test for viability was done, and three seeds were selected against, leaving six seeds that were to be hybridized and released to the farmers. The best farmer around was Mr. Kasuma Jezafat, Mr. Kasuma, who imparted the six seedlings with the ability to survive the harsh conditions by scarification to enhance germination. Necessary nutrients we are provided. These hot peppers are to harder you off. <laughs> he already resounded. And yes, indeed, the, the seedlings were hardened off. Malobolistic peppers acted as our pep as C4 plants to produce more yields. The best stockman around, Mr. Singendo Richard, who protected the six deployed cells from variations in their genetic makeup from the environment during their metaphase one and prophase one, we were genetically engineered to give suitable products. This class can do it. I know it. The inspiration was, he always resounded, infiltrated our brains. The practical farmer, Mr. Selunjoji Alexander, practicized our practicability to practice the practices and principles of agriculture land. Members, we are meeting in the physics lab. Please be there, he already said. And we systematically followed enriching us with the practical knowledge we display today. Mr. Bossa Derrick economically taught us how to market our research and determine the demand imparted on us so as to supply the quality products that would not meet any price fluctuations Risks and uncertainties such as diminishing returns we met and he echoed. Members, why are you sleeping? You will have nine months and so to sleep. And then he learnt, and then we learnt the values of the opportunity cost. Promise after promise they have been made but sabotaged. As the agriculturalist twenty twenty three, we oppose this notion, saying, Come twenty eighth November, our promises shall be fulfilled as agriculturally we write our future. We thank the administration of this mighty institution for being good agricultural extension officers and bringing us the best facilitators. Thank you, our dear mother. We package and seal off this message with a promise of top-notch A's. Odongo, sir, sit tight. This pesticide will surely scorch. We shall not maluish. 
and there shall be no pastry surgeons. Thank you. Compiled by Asindru Gift Gladys, Namayanja Agnes, Shabe Joel Tugume, Waisana Timothy Badmash, and read to you by Namayanja Agnes and Joel Shabe Tugume. Thank you. Oh, protocol observed. Good morning. Good afternoon, sir. I welcome you to the business world. Courage is not the absence of fear, but rather the ability to conquer it. Quote said by the late Nelson Mandela, the entrepreneurship class report. On 18th of January 2022, an entrepreneur identified and recruited 22 opportunity seekers into the entrepreneurial environment. These opportunity seekers took a risk of applying for this job. The entrepreneurial environment was not favorable, thus those who could not cope up with change were outcompeted. Three entrepreneurs got terminated and the other six were laid off from the enterprise, leaving 13 entrepreneurs who were goal-oriented and miss hardships. The creativity done was going to give us innovative solutions to the problems and innovations to transform ourselves into the wealth we need. From the first trading period, the business idea ceased to be viable by the fact that entrepreneurs received low commission of less than 40%. The entrepreneur lost morale and commitment to the enterprise. But as good entrepreneurs, Madame Miremba and Fiona, Madame Miremba Fiona and Mrs. Oguang Florence were extraordinarily persistent to build the future. Madame Miremba Fiona was an investment advertiser, advisor, sorry, referred us to the famous successful entrepreneurs as role models. By the way, you know Bill Gates. McDonald, <laughs> which entrepreneurs do you know? And here in Uganda, Kazire and Hamis Chigundu, she always advocated, encouraging us not to be job seekers, but job creators. Madame Mirembe Fiona, sorry, Madame Ogang Florence, oh, the motherly love. Josiah, please pray for us, she always echoed whenever the financial calculations were not balancing. More risks were made. So we got an insurance policy, the game changer, Mr. Simbe John, who made a visibility study, hence a turnover of the business to ensure its success. His ways of motivating entrepreneurs were ethical and principled. Girl, boy, I know you can make it. This is the best class I have told. He already said. To our headmistress and mother, we thank you for funding our facilitations and seminars. And to our teachers, Mr. Simbe, thank you for motivating us when we thought we had lost hope. Madam Mogwang, for imparting entrepreneurship in our everyday life. And Madam Mirembe, for encouraging us to follow our role models. Considering all our endeavors, and our tireless personal efforts, the fruits of successful distinctions shall definitely be sowed on 21st and 22nd of November, 2023. Compiled by Namayanja Agnes, Naroga Judith, Kwesiga Desin Deborah, Nabanja Prim, Wanyama Posiano. And this was typed by Namakula Pal and read by to you by Nambia Dana and Chairman Betha and Grace, thank you all for listening. All protocol observed, good afternoon. The dimensions of the universe comprise of two things, matter and energy. You may see a huge variety of the various forms of matter around you, like rocks and oceans, plants and animals, cars and computers. If you want to understand the composition of these forms of matter and how they work, you need to understand chemistry. 
the chemistry report. Exactly 652 days back from today, an enormous bunch of alchemists took on the task of exploring the three branches of modern chemistry, emulating the likes of Mendeleev, Democritus, and A. Kekule. The journey has had its highs and lows from the extra periods to a few classic jokes here and there, moments of confusion and a little distress, laborious amounts of tests which reduced us to 108 chemists, the finest in the land. The refined distillate has further been subjected to purification and toughened, making the content undoubtable. Assuredly, the group is pretty tough, waiting to diligently write flat their minds in order to excel first place in Uganda come next year, for the sky is the limit. To our teachers, we cannot express enough how grateful we are for ceaseless efforts to elucidate these concepts and your hard work, encouragement, and the faith you have in us. Mr. Kagoda Silva, you always had a character to invoke laughter, and these lessons are pretty lively. For instance, the latter once said, every taxi in Uganda is entitled to only and only 14 passengers. But God forbid, if it topples over, over 40 bodies are removed from the same taxi, <laughs> and of which 10 were in the boot. <laughs> How could this be? The latter once said, by chance, if you, drink, if you drink methanol and you're passing by the powerhouse, fire comes out of the blue, <laughs> goes for your kidney, <laughs> burns your heart, and then you meet your creator. He, thank you for, for enlightening our judgment. And uh, a simple fact, um, if you study the structure of water, you'd notice it is an alcohol. Does that make all of us drunkards? If yes, happy drinking. <laughs> we are very thankful for the moment you spent with us. I will never forget your impeccable sense of humor that ensured that we grasped the fundamentals of organic chemistry. Mr. Letoni, our head of department, words cannot express our vehement determination to deliver knockout results. We appreciate your boundless effort putting into our preparation process. <laughs> Mr. Dite, George William. <laughs> the latter one said, don't what? Don't mix with us. Come November, we will have our rulers ready. We shall not only have much to say about organic chemistry, but more in inorganic chemistry and physical chemistry. We shall not mix with poor grades, but instead we shall sprout with distinctions in our papers, and we are honestly grateful. Mr. Kagwa, John Bosco, this time we shall make it to the what? to their third nationwide, as we prepare our way to success. We appreciate your, mom your commitment to our great cause. Mr. Ofono, Stefan, for your keen knowledge and gentle touch, which has molded us into sharp chemists. We are thankful for your fatherly care. Mr. Katwech Wilson, we appreciate the fact that you encouraged and motivated us and for the many questions you've given us that have exposed us. We are thankful for always being there for us as you have availed yourself for our consultations. We will surely not let you down. Mr. Barole Samuel, there will be no striking and no wide open eyes in the papers as we, are, as we shall approach the questions smartly. Truly, we say to you, that all the night, nights of corrections will not go to waste. We will produce distinctions worth your energy. Not forgetting Mr. Sekandi Douglas and Mr. Mukabe Kennedy for your helping hand and the time you've 
spent shaping us as far as chemistry is concerned. Our promise come 22nd November 2023 is that by the Almighty's grace, we will write well and correctly. Thank you. Compiled by Mwebaze Edgar, Asianzu Gerald, Musazi Elijah. Read to you by Ntenda Shanis. And the chilling minister. Thank you. Um, protocol observed, a good afternoon. The ideas of economics and political philosophers, both when they are right and when they are wrong, are more powerful than is commonly understood. The economic class report. Just as a nation opens its gates widely for investors, a group of married economists ventured into the academic world to organize, control, and mobilize the factors of education. Due to the scarcity of subjects, a choice was made, an opportunity cost was ignored, and on 20th January 2022, we commenced the journey with a forest of words but a desert of ideas. As an economic integration, we can all testify that without the humanitarian aid from our mentors, Salongunda Stephen, who's most known as the chairman, and Mr. Guang Bosco, we wouldn't have been able to grow through the multiple disparities and fluctuations in this economic world. The incentives offered to us by our teachers in form of the abundant lessons, plenty of facilitations to us, plenty of facilitations in addition to the seminars and the dreaded Wednesday night whose demand obeyed the concepts and diminishing marginal utility are all the ingredients that have, been concon that have been concocted to produce the finest consolidation at this diplomatic class. Our dear Mr. Chairman, the honor has honestly been ours to have you lead us in this demographic transition. We shall always remain grateful to you for bearing with sleeping disease that usually attacks the class, leaving no stone unturned in one way or the other. Truly we say to you, Enteka Teka Namtaika, that she started, will not pass unnoticed come early 2024. For our very own Mr. Ogwang John Bosco, with all the sarcasm that you ignite in us and the absolute advantage that you have given us, you should be rest assured that your massive investment shall earn only pure profits as our A's multiply at a geometric rate. We would like to confidently inf inform you that we have mastered all the development strategies and come 14th November, our microclass will monopolize Mr. Odong's economics papers with macro results. As economists always have limited time, Allow us to go and attend our monopolized businesses as we are away to conquer Odong's territory. Compiled by Nakato Noelin, Nelly Marina, Aine Karen, Adon Caroline, Nansamba Irene, and read to you by Namugamatha Beatrice and Onesta Gumia. Thank you. All protocols observed. Good afternoon. So, yeah, did you know the word geomorphology was derived from the word geo, meaning the earth, and morph, meaning form, and logos, meaning the study? Therefore, geomorphology deals with the study of origin and development of topographical features on the earth's surface. The geography class report. During the Pleistocene period, on 15th January 2022, a typhoon carried along with it 17 geologists who were transported and deposited on the Sima floor landmass of Senior 5 Arts. No sooner had we been deposited than one of the geomorphologists, Mr. Oguam, introduced us to the world of wandering continents that made some of us think of dropping geography. However, 
we were consolidated back into the subject by Madame Aliba, who introduced an easier topic of fishing in paper two. Now, this was the geography that we all knew. From then, it was quite a smooth flow of events until the eostatic changes saw three of us weathered and deposited of the class. Leaving behind a small hard resistance class of 14 students brave enough to face the ninth hour. You see, that's Friday making you sleep in class. Typical statement of Mr. Munanura Osi. We are humbled to have been some of the few dependents of your knowledge, bearing our incorrect ability and making us teachable. We assure you that even if darkness falls at noon, I mean, if darkness falls at noon, we are ready to score only A's. And if the devil fights, at worst, a B. Mr. Oguang John Bosco. <clears throat> Mr. Oguang John Bosco. Uh -huh. We don't know where to start from. The man covered the syllabus three times in a year. Three times. One, two, three. A year. And that's the truth. By the way, and that's the truth, by the way, that's exceptional. And we truly have no excuse not to perform. It is truly the truth, by the way. <laughs> Mr. Tumizire, a.k.a. Willy, your Sunday program has really taken away the examination phobia from us. We hope we don't have a paper after here. <laughs> oh. Anyway. We thank you for the dedication, sacrificing your weekends for us. We can only reward you with 14 distinctions. And uh, Kafumbe promises not to do statistics. Come, your neighbor. Mr. Kabanda Achilles, we recognize and appreciate your contribution. We haven't forgotten catering on rooftops in Ichiboga. May God bless you. Mr. Kasiga Lawrence, the smiling face made us think paper two was the easiest paper. Indeed, at this rate, it's safe to say so. Member at the back, when life gets hard, stand up. <laughs> the statement that would wake up everybody. We have mastered the case studies and promise to stand knowledge come 15th November. Madame Ariba Rachel. We have certain, we are certain, we have grasped all the 30 statistical methods, except the windrows. Of course, but after today's blessing, we shall surely get it. We, we want to let you know that you are the only teacher who can 18-year-old candidates. That's quite outrageous. May God bless you. Oh, Mr. Sheng Humphrey, my grandson. Yeah, he calls me his grandmother. Oh, did you think we could forget you? Hmm. Not after all those fieldwork trips. You are heading the most active department in school. Those daily term X tests made two weeks seem longer than a full term. Your dedication proves right to the statement, a leader is a dealer in hope. We assure you that we assure you this is the best geography class you will have. Lastly, the school administration. Thank you for funding our class activities, the facilitations, field work trips, though you owe us a trip to Western Uganda. Anyway, we are aware of your expectations from us and we are ready to pay the ultimate price. We are ready and this time around, we are very serious. Compiled by Kafumbe Najib, Ankunda, Ankunda Treasure, Mubiru Frederick. Let us stop the joke and walk the talk. Read to you by Kaziba Timothy. And Athiano Priska, a.k.a. Amora Dolores.
all protocol observed. Let us wake up. The language of the universe. The more equations you know, the more you can converse with the cosmos. The mathematics class report. The 15th of January, 2023, marks the entry of a group of 180 great mathematicians through the gates of this great institution. Each a mutual exclusive event existing with basic knowledge of only addition, subtraction, and finding X, even sometimes Y. <laughs> Expectations were high. Mathematics was supposed to be a walkover, as always, even in all level. But little did we know the jump scare were dropping in too. Unaware of the integrable integrants, some of these mathematicians chickened out at the introduction of the idea of or differentiation, saying, ha, the way the index jab is so the The first half of the journey was more of a mathematics error, and the struggles were directly proportional to our struggles, reducing our number to a square of only 12 soldiers, ready to take on the battle. A heartfelt gratitude goes out to our mathematics veterans who left us. First of all, to the pure math fraternity, Mr. Ndaula Wycliffe, our dear mathematics philosopher, always putting us to the test with statements like, and Alo member. Alo member. Kole number. Teketa wakuntu nulida. Simanya mfananga beauty king. And always making complex numbers seem like a piece of cake. Mr. Kavugo, in his absentia, it is, it is because of you we defeated Theta. Not just cos theta, sine theta, or tan theta, but cot theta, cosec theta, and sec theta. And we feel confident to attack numbers that seem to be beyond our heights. Mr. Eke, aka Mr. Evergreen, it is because of you we went through the world of planes, and thank you for showing us the way. Mr. Lucifer Gerald, we have surely digested the heavy meal that you served in your mathematics hotel. <laughs> By the way, we no longer take tap water, but now we take milk. <laughs> After bombarding us with the monster of all mathematics, you know what I'm talking about, calculus, where we analyze data, not forgetting the question. Rachi musika yevi jambia, nevi kumbi, okukola is a number. And me don't blame me. I'm just an innocent waiter in this hotel. <laughs> I serve you what you ask for. <laughs> Thank you for making our minds integrable and journeying with us through the ups and downs of pure math and breaking down calculus, algebra, sketching rare curves, long set by our fathers, Parkins, Newton, and Tranter. To talk, of pure math, to talk of pure math without speaking of its application would be an obscenity. It is on this note that we fetch gratitude from the recess of our hearts and send it out to our phenomena team of unbeatable minds. Mr. Kalunji, it is because of you that you confidently say that a do one is no longer normally but uniformly distributed. Mr. Asimwe, your engaging class talks and legends will not be ours. Surely we shall produce a weighted index and an algorithm of S worth your efforts. Mr. Mugambe James, it is seemingly impossible, I mean impossible, to point out any force that splits mechanics more than you do. And your work is truly magical. Putting into that saying, the number is never the problem. Dear parents, 
would like to let you know that this binomial theorem has the best team of mathematicians that produce a function of A's and its derivatives. And to you, our dear teachers, that come Monday 13th November, to Mr. Andaula, we promise to put whatever you preached in action since God blessed the works of our hands. Mr. Luciva, we promise not to rise in the paper and not use our Jambia. Mr. Eke, we promise, not, we promise to use correct substitution and formulas. Mr. Kalunji, we surely promise not to get marks in radians, since you already said some of you like getting marks in radians or even calendar marks. Mr. Mugambi, we promise to draw correct force diagrams with rulers and not free hands, since rulers at the canteen are very, very cheap. Mr. Simwe, we promise to, to get marks with a positive correlation. We thank the whole mathematics department for joining with us, and we surely shall not put your efforts to waste. Compiled by Nancy Kambi Esther, Nabakoza Maureen, Nancy Mbwa Melissa, read by Hamba Patricia Miri, Akidi Rita, and Katwai Trevor Sakul Sa. Thank you. Good afternoon to you all. Information Communication Technology, ICT Class Report. On January 20th, 2022, the ICT Class of 2022-2023 embarked on a digital journey through the, vast landscape, through the vast landscapes of technology. This report incorporates the class dynamics, milestones achieved, and the binary dance of knowledge exchanged while exploring the harmonious convergence of technology, knowledge, and problem solving. The earlier days saw the class initialize smoothly with the students booting up their love for ICT. The students initialized their mental processors, synchronized their clocks, and the binary rhythm of curiosity and anticipation set the tone for an exciting journey. The synergy of hardware and software accompanied with a well-oiled machine began to unfold. This class ecosystem therefore boasts a diverse array of CPUs, classroom processing units from various backgrounds, each student contributing a unique RAM, resourceful academic mindset module, enhancing the overall processing power of collective learning infrastructure. Throughout the two years, Numerous software updates were observed. Lessons served as executable files by the best ICT teachers in the country, providing an input for the assimilation process of the students. Debugging sessions were frequent with the students' troubleshooting concepts. The interpersonal network experienced robust connectivity with flawless data transmission facilitated by collaborative practical sessions and assignments. Information packets flowed seamlessly, creating an environment conducive to shared learning processes. Awareness of digital threats was an integral part of the curriculum. Students therefore implemented firewalls to focus during examinations, safeguarding against infiltration of distractions and ensuring data integrity in academic endeavors. The class engaged in the construction of mental data data structures and organizing knowledge hierarchies. Algorithms for problem solving were dissected and executed with precision, optimizing the learning process. The cloud of collective knowledge continuously expanded as students synced their insights with the virtual repository. Ideas rained down like data droplets, enriching the collective pool of wisdom. The information exchanged within the class was like an unlimited flow of data. Ideas were observed in packets of, of discussions flowing seamlessly through the network of minds, each byte of knowledge contributing to the construction of a robust intellectual network. Allow me to execute this syntax. 
ICT class of 2022-2023, a dynamic system of interconnected minds has traversed through the landscape with resilience and adaptability. As we close in cycle, we want in a special way to thank the ICT geniuses who have changed us from the old Pentium processor chips to the new MI chips with faster access time, pipelining of several activities, and increased non-volatile memory. We are now, in fact, artificial intelligent systems of a higher generation. Mr. Diogo Andrew, Mr. Diogo Andrew, I, don't, I will not forget the time you made database look like a child's play in just a single lesson. Mr. Ocho Alfred, Mr. Asimse Kreufas, Mr. David Bujas Salong, and Mr. Tibakanya Joseph in absentia. We are very humbled by the relentless efforts you have put in to make us what we are. Thank you for being a relational link between a theory and practical applications. Your commitment to our education has normalized forms of comprehension, eliminating redundancy and ensuring a normalized understanding of complex topics. Your efforts have transformed us from novice users to proficient administrators of knowledge. Your guidance has been the primary key to unlocking our potential in the vast field of knowledge. Your, your lessons were more than just rows and columns. They were carefully crafted queries that retrieved understanding from the depth of complexity. We promise that, that come that day, we will modulate and demodulate data packets and ensure unencrypted data transfer with refreshed integrity as the ICT geniuses of 2022-2023. As we navigate the circuits and nodes of the ICT journey, remember that every challenge is a bite-sized adventure. Embrace the bugs, learn from the glitches as you code your way to success. Together, we will compile a future where the ICT pros knows no bounds. See you in the digital mind, the digital realm, eager minds. Compiled and written by Wangoda Francis and read to you by Asinja Chloe Abigail. Answer the Muchitabocho. Not forgetting Mr. Kalunji David who ushered us into the world of linear programming and assured us that our results will be greater than or equal to 90%. We as the sub-math class promise to excel with 20 points in which the sub-math column will be filled with not only points but only distinctions. Compiled by Namuswa Masi, Aol Jemima, Mary Batila Navuya, Zarango Nangendo Chesi, Nalunkuma Fever, and read to you by Zarango Nangendo Chesi and Mary Batila Navuya. Thank you. To the endless quarrel, he should come and eat. She said, he should stay and read. He charged the literature report. On the 18th January 2022, 17 intellectual literates anchored on the shores of this magnificent institute, eager to think deeper about the works of the immortalized writers. We set to uncover the corruption in Wallace Swinkers Kongi, the immorality in White Charlie's country wife, and the double standards in Thomas's Hardy, Test of the Dabavilles. We traversed various lands on our way to victory. We walked through England with Mr. Kamulia, trekked through the plains of Greece with Mr. Matri, and rotated around our own Africa with the master of sarcasm, Mr. Percy, 
as he always said, you should be able to smell sarcasm as far as pitch. We are forced to see humor in the most plain writings. There is humor. It is there. Write it, as Mr. Kamula always emphasized. However, the voyage was not as easy as it looked. We trekked from one tree to another, to another, to another in search of a classroom until we found home on the veranda of the Golden Jubilee Dining Hall. <laughs> It's been two years since we embarked on this journey of themes, lessons, and character traits. And now, the moon has finally set on the journey in this class. We, as the literature titans, are armed with pan as our helmets, sarcasm as our sword, innuendo as our shield, and ellipsis as our spear. When the sun rises on the 17th of November 2023, we shall definitely put our best feet forward as we advance against our enemies. Our marks shall live in ebb in suspense, hoping that Mr. Kamulia is ready to prepare the 16 pieces of fish after we emerge as the best in the country. We are in deep gratitude towards our intellectual, the male virtuous gang behind our academic prowess, Sarkozy himself, Mr. Chirabo Pasi, the imposer of humor, Mr. Kamulia Grace, and our priceless vessel of wisdom, Mr. Amateur James. Never shall we open a book and fail to feel nostalgia about the lessons that we learned from you. And with this we declare that we shall no longer speak in metaphors compiled by the literature class and read to you by Namsua Masi, Natugonza Hilda, and Akwari Noela Ava. Art is chaos taking shape. Pablo Picasso, the art class report. We started out as a group of nine at the beginning of 2022, but since creativity takes courage, a few of us fell out while others joined in. Besides, if it was easy, everyone would do art, leaving us as 10 in total. This was probably due to the fact that a few of us realized only later that art was our true calling. If we could describe our art lessons in one word, well, it wouldn't do the job. Our drawings range from the most beautiful of nature to the most grotesque of objects. Our practical lessons, honestly, sometimes felt like hard labor, attesting the fact that art is not for the faint-hearted. We must say, though, that most of the lessons were quite amazing, were quite an amazing experience because we do, we got to do fun things that no one else could. Albert Einstein did say, creativity is intelligence having fun. Our eyes were also open to see beauty in the rarest of things and we owe it all to our teachers, Mr. Kawuri Richard, Mr. Sewunya Vicent, Madame Nabukera Regina, and last but not least, Mr. Kabonge George Waswa, who have, who have jointly, tirelessly, and persistently nurtured us into the artists that we are today. Mr. Kabonge, the newest member of our art firm, whom we have only known for a year, has managed to redefine art by literally lighting up the art room. You taught us not to wait for inspiration but rather find it while working. The tough love really opened up our eyes whenever we decided to be brutally honest with our art pieces or even our behavior. Lucky for us, the counseling room is right next door. Even if we wished you had come to us earlier, we were still grateful for your work and promised to make up for it by applying all techniques and hacks you have taught us. It's Madame Regina's belief in self-discipline, being key to success, that always forced us to reform each time we acted out of line. Our lessons were not only compromised, weren't only comprised of detailed studies and theories on perspective, but also morals. But all the same, thank you for being that much needed. Tough mother, figure, everyone needed. Every time Madame Regina walked in, 
made things interesting with phrases that will never die. Like, Ne nori ni, or the encouraging, but senior six. Ah. Anyway, Mujahuita, which we are convinced we will, definitely, to Jahuita. Mr. Sevunya, made of pure patience and kindness, managed to make every lesson worthwhile. Scarce as he was, the inspirational talks needed were truly our source of inspiration to put love in what we needed. Be intentional in the art piece we made. For that reason, we are sure that with each paper we do, we will only depict the love you instilled in us for the craft. And of course, we shall not forget the design process. Mr. Kabubi, our dear one, you showed us right from the start that expanding our knowledge about the subject is not restricted to only taking notes. You made the lessons more enlightening using practical examples, which added a ton of sense to any theoretical explanation. Philosophy should borrow a leaf. Henceforth, we assure you that we will be able to answer any theory questions ably and answer the paper. All in all, the art class may not be filled with very special kinds of artists, but rather, each person is a special kind of artist. Keeping in mind, art has the power to transform, illuminate, inspire, and motivate. Read to you by Kirakino Lingres, Kimuli Ifel Precious, and compiled by Kimuli Ifel, Manuela Nasuna, Nariva Pauline, and Nadiope Josiah Calvin. Thank you. Good afternoon, everyone. An intellectual mind is one that does not remember, but one that reasons. The general paper class report. On the 19th January 2022, a brave band of debaters were recruited into this tasking class. Our brains were challenged as we pushed, as we pushed our reasoning to the limit trying to solve the impossible logic. There was a rush to acquire dictionaries. Well, especially by the non-literature students, to find meaning of new words. Who can forget the chaos of the first lesson as we traversed around the school in search for a classroom? These intellectual titans have endured studying under trees, inside noisy halls, even under tents as we guarded that as we argue that DNA testing should be abolished. Do you agree? It has been a journey of comprehensions and calculations under the guidance of our very own guardians, Mr. Amature, Mr. Balidawa, and Mr. Mpambiro. These noble guardians have reminded us of what the real world really feels like every time we went for our lesson. They told us the importance of communication and how to defend our beliefs and how to defend our beliefs and arguments. We cannot say thank you, yeah. We can't say how thankful we are for this guiding light to our mad defeat. Mr. Baridawa, you often say if you fail to get a GP point, we will have failed ourselves in life. And indeed we will not fail ourselves or anyone else because come 16th November, we shall score points, definitely not by penalty, but by hard work. Just like Mr. Amatre once said, you need to marry from different tribes to neutralize your ugliness. So, shall we marry our reasoning with good explanations to neutralize our controversial arguments? How, how can we forget Mr. Mpambilo's puzzling questions, his perturbing stories, those jokes that made us turn in our seats, and above all, above all his topic of all times, bright praise. The heated discussion this topic caused in our classroom, cannot, you cannot imagine. True love is not bought, but and. Why should I pay bright price to express my feelings? Well, the male titans thought so then. However, our attitudes and thoughts about this particular topic were changed. Right, titans? Thank you, Mr. Frank, and all. Thank you, Mr. Frank. We shall recall your employee 
shall employ your ex relative examples. To you, Mr. Baidawa, the great philosopher himself, you wonder where our logic would be without your in intelligent contribution. Probably, we would think that 1 plus 1 is 11. We are now great philosophers ourselves, and logic is a mere walkover for us. The general class is not the general class is no general class. Whereas we may we may employ general knowledge, we will not get general scores but extra D ones. Thank you. Compiled by Nabionga Daisy, Anzoe Noela, Namuswa Masi, Nakato Noela Nanteza, read to you by Mawale Chuchurenia. Adlinet Savakaj. Protogo observed, what makes the Titan vile an interesting place is the fact that everyone has a special character that brings out the uniqueness in them. The social class report, the Titans have infinite characters and talents. One can't really start to spot them all, but here are some of the categories. Enjoy. Altar servers. With them, it's God and nothing else. These are the Titan future priests and nuns. It is alleged. When I read your name, you stand up for recognition. Already Chizito. Chisule Isaac. Kasaga Kato Micho, Nasi Nyama John Kerry, Nachi Mulizana, Asimwe Helena Grace, Nanteza Madrin, Naroga Judith, Nakalisa Judith, Na Banja Prim Christine, Ashaba Anita Ariabaha, Akwari Eva Noela, Musazi Elijah, Mubiri Frederick. These ones are always ready to serve the community even without pay. The moment the moment mass ends. They storm the stage and carry away everything they can. Volunteers. Isingoma Baron. Kitabalwa Cedric. Mutiawa Rogers. Kadu Joseph. Naiga Trisha. Nasimbwa Melissa. Nankwanga Juliet. Asianzu Dorin. Nabudidi Theresa. Alinda Patience. Honorables. I don't think anyone will forget this cabinet. Navubia, sorry, sorry. Navubia, Mary Batila. Nelly Marina. Musisi Lawrence. Asindiru Gift Gladys. Naiga Gafrida Sandra. Naiga Maria Asumta. Nakalisa Judith. You should stand up for recognition. You should come for your parents to see you. Naloga Judith, Omonia Bernard, Mubiru Frederick, Birunji Margaret, Tushave Joel, Asinja Chloe, Sebuliba Aaron, Liazi Ian, Akelo Chalin, Nakato Noela, and Chiribachi Noelin. <laughs> Choir members.
a Willie Prisca, Samuel Gary Gilbert, Waswaka Paul, Bosa Jerome, Naturinda Rogers, Tushabe Joel, Manuela Cotino Nasuna, Asindiru Gladys, Nabudidi Theresa, Nantamu Mariam. You should come forward for the parents to see you. HM is on. Asindi Rugladis, Nabudidi Theresa, Nantamu Mariam, Wanyana, Wanyana Chris Ann, Alingu Aaron, Wangoda Francis, Birunji Margaret, Sekali Abe Joshua, Ntenda Shanis, Wasike Ben Kisa, Akanawele Daria Blessed, Alinda Patience, Nantamu Mariam, Nelly Marina, Asero Hope, Wanyana Chris Ann, sorry, Asianzu Dorin. The intercessors, Asero Hope, Katoka Saga Mitchell, Mama Gilbert, Asianzu Dorin, Navionga Daisy, Navudidi Theresa, Nankwanga Juliet Mirembe. Class geniuses, Biological, Asianzu Gerald, Nanchinga Justin, Katanta Zimika, Wanyana Chris Ann, Kasaga Kato Micho. <laughs> Physical, Mwebaze Edgar, Musisi Lawrence, Naiga Gafrida Sandra, Nasinyama John Kerry, Nasimboa Melissa. Arts, Aneso Mary Immaculate, Kafumbe Najib, Aol Jemima Mary, Kemba Wazi, Patience, Namuswa Masi. All, all protocol observed. Good afternoon. The Titan class, ever challenged but never equaled, I proceed. <laughs> the professors. <laughs> okay. Chichu Mabale, Lucky Rukia Abu, Kaziba Timothy. We have the philosophers, the philosopher. This man is not fit to be chilling with us on the amount of knowledge the person has. You may think he's actually a lecturer or something. When he speaks, you find yourself listening attentively. Uh, Rema said he's from another dimension. As Yanzu Gerard, we have the orators. We have these people. You can't actually win an argument. If you think you can, challenge accepted. Kakai Patience Linda. Ashava Anita Ariabaha. Angel Rachel. And like what? Such a Elvis. The principal titans. These people just can't tolerate any kind of nonsense. We have Wanyana Chris Ann, Nabudi Ditriza, Nabudi Derina, Abula Paul Miki, Wangoda Francis, Okoriko Nathan, aka Slaughter. We have the Ever Punctual Titans. Time is actually money, but these people took it too personal. We have Waisana Tim Tiff. We have Katanta Zimika Samuel and Kwagala Mary. We have the ones in the shadows. Uh, you can't easily track these people down or even trace their movements. We have Ogenrod Daniel, <laughs> Nabosa Patricia, and Nyamtoro Mariam. The sophisticated lot, or you can call it the Titan Drippers, even in school uniform. We have Omonia Bernard, Namakula Pal, Asinja Chloe, Tushave Joel, Lias Ian and Natugonza Hilda. We have 
Okay, we have the Titan darlings. It is always easy to get along with these Titans. Nabude Patience, Nariba Pauline, Akidi Rita. The one, I, the one I'm going to mention, a group of, a class here knows him better, Ngabo Mark. <laughs> we have the pop stars. It is very interesting to be in an environment with talented people. Indeed, and indeed we are. I mentioned the name. You mentioned the AKA. Serugoti Albert. Oh, Assured. Kaziwa Timothy. Logi Pro. <laughs> we have the vocalists. These ones can play around with any sort of sound waves. We have Logi Pro. Manuela Cotinho. Awiri Priska, <laughs> Nadiope Josea, Nankwanga Juliet, we have Asero Hope, Walela Emmanuel, <laughs> and we have Kitui Martha, aka Adele. <laughs> oh. We have the sound engineers, you can call them Tantebo Assassins. We have Kisuli Isaac, Isaac Pro. We have Tseka Chris, DJ Cash Pro. We have the choreographers. These people actually may think they have no joints in their bodies. We have Ashabaene Shifra. We have Munuji Colin, Alinda Patience, Lubangakene Emmanuel, and Ofueroth Timoth. We have the socialities. You know, who I'm, you know who I'm about to mention? The Axe. If you don't know the Axe, this is, this is the term you're supposed to distinguish the Axe. We have Nansubu Ganashiba. We have Dubs. We have, we have Ashabaya Shifra. We have the Shazams. We all know Shazam. You just have many songs and he tells you the title. We have Mulunji Colin, we have Namanya Thatcher, Nambia Diana, Chilabo Bethany, and Namanya Nja Agnes. We have the instrumentalists. We have Sam and Antonio Nicholas, Nyanzi Enoch, Sembata Gavin, and Sekalebe Joshua. We have the Funny Titans, even on a day you don't plan to make a joke, count your plan ruined because they will always pull off something funny. We have Nalubega Daria. We have Wamazebu, Wamazebu Daniel, the indigenous African bull. We have Akidi Rita. We have Nanchinga Justin. We have Kitui Martha. And we have the king himself, King Kong, Mimba Joel. Shalom school. Shalom Titans. Shalom. For this next category, we have the angry birds. They are angry 24-7. We have Orach Gaddafi. <laughs> Ahonesa Joshua. The backbenchers, be it mass, class, any event, they will come early and sit at the back. We have Mutiaba Rogers. At, at the catering service is about to make a loss. They are always there to save the day. <laughs> we, have, we have Kafum Benajib, Chisule Isaac, Mutiaba Sean Rogers, and Mulumba Abraham. <laughs> the Titan Sports People. Odekenyero Polycap, Owar John Bruno, Walera Emmanuel, Jasa Frederick, Nasolo Jessica Perez, and Zoa Noela. We have the, 
we have the baby titan. The next category is the baby titans. They don't look like, they don't look their ages. They don't look what they claim to be. They are younger than what they say. There is Ofoy Roth Timothy, Nava Koza Maureen, Nakato Noella, and Nagasharita. We have the Peach Boys. They are at Peach by 3.30 p.m. before, you know, lessons end. We have Ogen Roth Daniel, Sekamate Ambrose, Bunoti Ronald, a.k.a. Muzei, the ancient one. Sewuliva Aaron. We have the class swimmers. I have never seen this one swim, but Kale. Um, we have Katabai Retriever, Chibombo Andrew, Muganda Andrew. Then we have our one and only Captain Nako, Luwama Martin Jody. I, I wish I could exhaust every category, but I can't because Titans have you neb. We apologize for offending anyone and we come in peace, thank you. Compiled by Mutiaba Sean Rogers, Omonia Bernard, Musazi Elijah, Aonesa Joshua, the Alpha Titan, Nambuya Diana, Nabakoza Maureen, and Chuchu Mabale. Read to you by Nasu Gana Shiba. Muyimba Joel. And Aki Dirita. Hey. That's how it has gone. The next is the speech of the president. Yes, of the class president, the Alpha I, Alpha Titan, Ahonesa Joshua. Please, DJ, DJ, work on us, work on us as he's coming. We are requesting him to be brief, and he is going to be. Thank you. The main celebrant, Reverend Father Clement, the chaplain, the head teacher, the deputy head teacher, teaching and non teaching staff present, dear parents, the fellow Titans, the students' body, shalom. Uh, my name is Ahonesa Joshua, speaking in the capacity of Titan class president. And before anything else, I thank the Almighty God for making this day a reality uh, for the far he has brought us. We don't take his care, protection, and providence for granted, to be honest. Uh, I give my sincere thanks to the main celebrant for the wonderful homily and for blessing us. And we believe him having prayed for us, we are going to excel and bring the best results home. Our current dismantle of Titan class president has definitely not been an easy task, as one could say. It has had its ups and downs, highs and lows. I don't deny the fact that it has taught me a lot more than I expected with all the experiences that came along while I conducted my duties. Of course, I recognize a number of individuals, if I would be specific, 20 in total, who helped me perform as obliged. Thank you. Uh, my sincere thanks to our dear class teachers, Mr. Daula Steven Salongo, Mr. Sevunya Eric, Mr. Damila Edward, who stood with us and supported us along this journey. We, are, we acknowledge your sacrifice and we appreciate you. May God bless you abundantly. Uh, we also thank the rest of the subject teachers who have endeavored to teach us everything that we need to, to know and be ready for our final nations. Thank you. Our journey in high school started seven years ago, but it was not until last year that we became titans, merging from different walks of life uh, to form such a paying, unique, a paying unit of life. Uh, it has been a never-ending adventure with several memories worth remembering. Uh, we've made friends, 
share noodles, tap tap it up, migrated from classroom to classroom, block to block, uh, physical and biological classes can, can relate. One of the biggest match of the year, and not forgetting our dinner with a bite in silence. Secure the first pot at the kitchen line every supper, pull through each and everything life threw at us. Our sincere gratitude to our dearest mother, Madame Agnes Insoga, our beloved head teacher, for giving us a decent stay here. For your contribution to our successful prom, all our activities as a senior six class 2023, food has always been provided, and for always following up our progress, one could think we were your biological children, for you showed us a mother's love. Thank you. Our dear chaplain, Father Waswa Vicent, you've nurtured us to be spirit-filled and God-fearing. Chaplain once challenged me when he asked me, what has the school added to you apart from the academic side of things? I think I can now answer when I say that my discipline, prayer life, have surely improved. And on top of that, I have acquired many survival skills in my two years' stay in this school. <laughs> uh, on that note, I would like to acknowledge the old students of this school, the Titans class, who have learned a lot of these, most of these values from them, which have been imparted in them from their form one. I would request you to stand up. Thank you. Uh, Father, Father Waso, may God sustain you as you continue touching the lives of many others. Uh, to Mr. Mone, the deputy head teacher, thank you so much for following up our coverage in all subjects and ensuring that all is taught. Uh, the history class especially thanks you for always giving them something to be happy about. We are all in debt of your service, sir. Thank you. The Titan parents, thank you for making us your valuable treasure. For your worry, for your hour and will always be our greatest blessing. You have endeavored to make sure that there is nothing we lack from school fees, payments, pocket money, endless requirements to the prom suits and dresses, the jersey, and now the class shirts. We love you, and we know the assignment at hand to fill you with joy with a marvelous performance. And to my brethren, the Titans class 2023, this is the final chapter of the seven years, in the seven years we started in 2017, but it's not the end, but rather the beginning of a new story, an adventure that has been worth a wait. My message to you is that to excel, it takes courage beyond physical limitation. Notably, with this, you can turn miles into smiles with God's providence. Keep in mind that you are the same today that you are to be five years from now, except for two things, the books you read and the people you interact with. Uh, books dignify the mind and make one who reads them a proud paragon. Be a possibility. Think and never give up until the war is over. We are what we repeatedly do. Excellence is then not an act, but a habit. Always remember, whatever is born of God is successful in the world. First John chapter 5, verse 4. Thank you. Uh, in this institution, uh, there are very many departments that have made life wonderful here. And we cannot just walk away like that and ignore the, how they serve us. Uh, therefore, we would like to acknowledge and thank everyone that has contributed to our happy stay here, the mess department, 
uh, that provided us with meals every day on time. The people who clean the school made it a very beautiful environment, very comfortable to stay in and live in. Our teachers, thank you. The administrators, we are, we are in debt of you. Thank you very much. On that note, we would like to award, uh, uh, recognize particular characters in this institution for their uh, wonderful service. Shalom School. Uh, I thank Mr. President for giving me this opportunity to pre preside over the awarding ceremony. Uh, to start with, we are starting with our very father. Uh, our motto is disciplined, we succeed. And you know, for one to be disciplined, they must have some virtues. One of the best virtues is being Christ-centered. Uh, this man has ensured that Christ is at the center of all our lives, and in everything we do, we put Christ first. Our dear Father Chaplain, thank you very much for instilling religious virtues in us. Uh, he not only works as the chaplain, he also counsels us. Sometimes when you get overstressed, you visit the chaplain's office, and he will give you the best counsel. Thank you very much, Chaplain. Uh, secondly, we call this our home away from home. And you know every home must have someone to look after it. This home indeed has a mother. Madam Agnes in Subuga, you've really been there for us, like our real parents. She's very approachable. You can bear witness to me. We can find her anyway and tell her your problem and she'll give you a solution. Madam HM, I request that you stand up and receive our award. Thank you very much for your services, Madam. When our mother is not around in any one case, which is very rare, Mr. Amoni Venancio Odele is always around to fix her steps very, very, very well. Thank you very much, Mr. Amoni, for being a father to us. basic primary role in school is academics and we thank very much Mr. Cheswa John, the director of studies who endeavors to produce the timetables, ensures that everybody is seated comfortably in their class.
sebo tukwe webale nyo webale omulimu go tukolera gwa manyi sebo webale dalala toyanza ah uh, another another person is miss nachiguli angela miss nachiguli angela please please uh, please let me please our our toilets please S please clap for her nyabo tweyanzi zo muri mugo tukolera nyabo tusimira dala tweyanze nge tweyanze nge uh, another person is Mr Ngabirano Tarasisio Mr Ngabirano if you are around please He is not around. Mr. Segawa Geoffrey, please, you can also step up. Uh, Mr. Lubega, I think you should come and receive this on behalf of, of these people. And please, pro Please send our message to them that we are very thankful for whatever they do for us, and we are really grateful. Please, Titans. Yes, thank you, thank you for those, thank you to those people. They really do a great job, and us as the Titans, we thought it was right to at least recognize them. We have not given them much, but at least a small thank you from us. I know it can carry a lot of matter. Thank you. Thank you. So, uh, to finish with, uh, we have received a few success cards, and we want to thank these people who have given us these success cards. Uh, the Tuko class of 2022. Uh, Mr. Kaliango Po to the Sam Math class. Uh, the family of Nasimba Melissa. Is we are very grateful. And 3N Consultants Limited. Uh, 3N Consultants Limited has given each candidate of Senior Six a success card. And this one is addressed to the head teacher of St. Joseph SS Nagalama.
Uh, this is to the head teacher from 3N Consultants Limited. It's a success card for the school, all the candidates. Uh, success in your exams to all St. Joseph SS Nagalama, a six candidate class. Wishing you success in your exams. You will pass with flying colors. Best wishes from 3N Consultants Limited. We also have cakes for the teaching and non-teaching staff. We are requesting for representatives to pick them up. Thank you. We also want to thank Mr. Andaula for the success cards he has granted to us. Hope everyone has got. Yes. We have more than three speeches from the President Class Committee, Madam Hannah Namayumba, and uh, uh, the PTA Executive, Mr. Engineer, is this right? I'm not sure. Benedict Njuchi, then later our mother, the head teacher, the only one. So, non teaching staff, please. Come for the cake. Let me use this opportunity to call upon the president of our class committee, Madam Hannah Namayumba. DJ, DJ. Good afternoon, Nagarama. At one point, this side was sleeping. I hope you're awake. And uh, I'm happy to be here. We are the Titan Parents. Can, can we say it the way they said it? The Titan Parents ever challenged but never yeah, Titan parents. Uh, okay. When I said a Titan parents, you say? Uh uh. How does the word go? Titan? Awu. Uh, one of you come. So, Titan parents are who, then you ask again, Titan parents are who, then someone says champions. Okay. So do it. Titan parents. Titan parents. Titan parents. Okay, after the second are who champions. Okay, let's do it again. Titan parents. Ahu. Titan parents. Ahu. Titan parents. Champions. Yeah, we are champions. <laughs> we are going to start with the giving out of gifts and then we conclude in a short while. Can I ask my committee to come and join me here? Uh -huh. That's the mighty treasurer, Kano Onata. Joined by the vice and uh, Vincent Adude. Hope mentioned she's around.
Thank you. These are the great men and women that have been working behind the scenes. And sometimes I have had to, to listen like a soldier because Colonel Nata says go and we have to go. No excuses. But thank you so much and please clap for them. We want to appreciate God for coming this far. We want to appreciate our, the Nagalama community, including each one of you for making our children enjoy this school to this end. We want to appreciate our mother and our father. You know, for us, all we do is get the fees and send them there. The rest is up to the school to manage. But we want to thank you so much. We want to start uh, to thank the school uh, the teaching committee, uh, the teaching staff and the non-teaching staff. So we would like to ask the head teacher to come and receive your gift. Which is... Mm. It is a small token from us. Eh. We would want to bring up a pickup of gifts for people here, but it didn't happen. So please present it to the school. Okay. We also have a goat outside there for the Muchomo. And we also have uh, a drinks. Uh, there's a coupon for drinks for staff, teaching and non-teaching staff. But the, the goat? Okay. Whoever can bring the goat can bring it. Mrs. Insuvuga, there is a drink skip coupon and it is the, it's with Mr. Andaula. So when the day comes, you cut the cake, you eat the goat, and you drink, and there are drinks. We shall not mention what is in the drinks, but please enjoy, and we want to say thank you. Thank you, thank you. Can we ask uh, a representative from senior six arts, not five, yours is next year. <laughs> yeah, for, for the staff. For clarity, the God is not for the students. <laughs> Can we have a representative from senior five, six arts? Okay. While six senior six biological comes as well. Okay. There she is. Okay, uh, senior six biological. Are you alone? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Please. Those banner books that father so make sure you read them to the end. And lastly, senior six physical. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. Please mind your teeth. The rate at which you came for cake means you will have a sweet tooth. Okay? Thank you.
the teacher. Okay. Yeah, okay. We have a gift for our father. It's this one here. Take that one, you yourself. Thank you for receiving our children as we bring them, and thank you for making sure they are better.
the pirate ship. We want to say we are humbled, but we had these children 20, around 20, 19 years ago. We had no clue that you guys would be here. We thank God for taking through whatever you have gone through. And I'm even happier that you have issues with a senior man and senior woman. These are the disciplinarians, the disciplinarians in the backyard. And we want to say thank you so much. The school has protected you. The school has got me. Coming here, you know, someone was sending us uh, my children success cards. I said, can I take them direct to school? I said, I'm not sure they will look it for you. That, that I'm a, <laughs> let's have your parents with a big card. We thank you for protecting our children. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, you can be as minors, you're going as young adults. Now, as young adults, the situation is different. You're not going to think like a, a P5 where you cry and you know, no samba banana. <laughs> You're getting into adulthood which is serious in a world that is full of uncertainty. A world where you don't even know each other. We are seated here, sorry, standing here. I know a little bit of him, a little bit of him. But in different scenarios, we are different. But we want to thank God the school has done its part. It has even given you, taught you an attitude of giving that you can decide to think about your fellow students.
things that are coming, but they mean well. The only person who loses when you're thrown into whatever garbage is your parent. So please, always remember that, 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 that is safe. That no one will love me more than what? My parents and my parents. So the song goes. Good Saint Son, they call him Jesus. He came to die. He ran for me. He went and died to buy my pardon. And then he prayed, "Is there to prove I saved your life?"
Thank you very much. I greet everybody. There is something I feel inside of me. I don't know whether you are all feeling the same. <laughs> I'm going to say it. Now you say, ah, you haven't heard it. I'm going to say it. I feel I'm not tired. Yes, you take it off. Thank you. 
of Makerere University to talk to the parents and students, but I will count for the last after realizing we shall say we shall bring them to you when our parents are away. We shall be there for you. Otherwise, the activities have been exceedingly long. Dear parents, in your different I know we have important people who we are ready to recognize. I recognize you all and recognize all of you as important to us because you sustained us. You sustained our stay. You sustained our education for the years. Let's clap for our parents. <laughs> Senior one.
we would like to request you, dear parents, as this stage we need the, the extraordinary love you've never given to us. You love, we know that you love us. That is steady fast love. Because these people are ready to work up your name, to excel with S in other subjects, as they gave it in their report. We are going to miss this lot. Very highly talented people. I will be talking to Antonio with a keyboard. The debater and Yarawa and Angel Naigaga. I would like to request that they to stand up because they want us something good. Naigaga, Anita, and Rachel, we are the champions of the high school crossfire debate national because of those three together with Sarah Powell. We are so busy because I can't fail to recognize that. We would like to thank all the players, the staff in their different categories. We thank you, dear parents, for this gift. For to sustain this school to this level, I want to thank you because of your fees. The Board of Governors pays us well and promptly. It is in this school that you can come here as early as 5 a.m. and you find more than five teachers here. And as late as 12 of midnight and you find more than five teachers here. Thank you for sustaining us here. And thank the board for paying us as government pays the science teachers. For our teachers here, we are not discriminating with pay. Us and science teachers are paid well. Well, our students who do not want to become teachers, do not want to become teachers, not necessarily because of money. Little money we school pay, that's just all I said, just the drama. It's because of the demands and the duties of managing students well. Like we do in St. Joseph's Nagama Club for the teachers. They fear. By the way, they even joking, he told, tell us. Somebody comes and says, listen, I can't be a teacher because you still live like a student's life. And all teachers live student work, life forever. We thank those people who have contributed the board for paying us well, the owner of the school. Bishop Christopher Kaposa for loving us and for following loans which construct structures to live in a better school. When you look behind, the bishop borrowed us money and the dormitory is about to be completed next year. We thank our bishop in our sense. Dear parents, today our innovators and creative minds uh, we are totally in charge. We come here to give such a speech when they do everything they themselves. Now that we turn this people into event managers, different talents, don't allow them to explore within their homes. Within their homes, dear parents, let, don't allow our children to look for jobs where they will be exploited in a poor world. Allow them to work with you to get to appreciate where money comes from. In short, take maximum care of our world. We've done our best. Do your best. Let me appreciate the BTA for the breakfast. Mr. Tochama is not around, but Professor in his and engineer which has represented them for the breakfast, not for them again. <laughs> the executive, these parents contributed to the gift we are sharing. 
clap for our parents for, for that gift. That's why we bought them. Let me take this opportunity also to introduce to you one of the parents, Professor Anthony Mugatia, who gave a, a talk on the challenge, on the responsibilities and challenges of parenting the current child through virtual presentation. We appreciate you and appreciate you for adding value to us. Dear parents, everybody plays their role. From here, there's food to be involved. We've counseled the, the career talk, sit with your children, bless them, pat them on the back. The marks they got in the box are totally different now. They have, all of them have A's in all their classes. In business terms, they are going to excel. And that another most important one also is that dear parents, out of the 193 candidates of senior six, only 47 do us. The 146 are science students. We thank you for traversing the journey with us. When we transitioned from being an arts school to now a science school, we have only 14 doing geography. In the past, it is an 87 doing biology and 78 doing physics and 140 one doing mathematics. We are humbled by giving us the genius. These children are genius. The other transformation is that you saw girls coming to present reports of public. In the past it used to be a dominance of the male gender that girls are caught up. Thank you very much. <laughs> we shall always pray for you to live better life and we shall always welcome you back when you have uh, when you need our services. We'd like to thank you so much for your kind attention. Whatever they do.